crashes yesterday in El Cajon here. A tow truck lost control along Highway 67, plunged into that canal, but luckily the driver was okay. Yeah, 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala, meanwhile, is live in Ocean Beach. Conditions calmer right now, Mimi, but people are being told to stay out of that water. They are, Virginia, Jason. A general rain advisory is in effect for 72 hours because of that rainfall that we saw yesterday. So that means swimmers, surfers, anyone planning on getting in our beaches today is advised to stay out because bacteria levels can rise significantly after the rainfall. We are getting a break from the rain before it picks back up, but we have video of some of the issues that were caused by it yesterday. SDG &E had to shut down power to about 300 homes in Rancho Santa Fe near El Camino Real after a driver lost control of his car. That red car slammed straight into a power pole, shearing it off and knocking live wires onto the road. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay, but a driver in a silver Lexus was actually trapped under those wires for about 20 minutes until SDG and &E got to the scene and was able to turn the power off. Then in San Marcos, several lightning strikes hit a neighborhood, leaving at least one family without power for um, after a fire sparked from those strikes. Neighbors described their home shaking and seeing bright lights, but fortunately no one there was hurt. Again, we are expecting more rain to travel through tonight into tomorrow. So the fire department is also asking everyone to just be extra cautious on the roads and slow down when it is raining. We're live in Ocean Beach this morning. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thank you, Mimi. Also want to let you know you can stay up to date on the storms here in San Diego by downloading our 10 News app. There's a free version available for you in the App Store.